Hey yo, what up bros and bros, this is your boy Yep, this is your boy, All About The Biz Here today to talk about sampling Um, let's see I got a message from Shaq504 And he says, thanks for the video bro I'm starting in this and I need so much to learn I have long vocals and beat samples that I want to use MP3 and Wave But the problem is the velocity Um, how can I make a sample that is 90 BPM go down to 85 or up to 95. I hear you say something about pitching and time stretching. Is that it or not? <clears throat> well, today I'm going to show you a little bit about pitching, a little bit about time stretching, and how to combine the two. So let's go down to FL Studio. And um, I got something here to use already. Matter of fact, let's do, let's do it from scratch. Look, look, bro. Look, here we go. We got. I picked out a um a loop and it's set at ninety. And first thing we want to do is make sure we trim the fat. When I say trim the fat, we want to make sure it starts at the beat exact beginning, no silence, and ends at the exact end, no silence. So we're gonna remove the silence. We want to cut this bow. All sound right here. Let's see, yeah. When you got waves, you got sound. So you come down here. It ends with waves, so it ends with sound. So we got a good loop. Let's check it out. All right, it loops on point, so we're good to go. Then we will want to save it. I already have, but I'm just going to tell you the course you want to go. You want to save sample as. It's going to pick a number for you. It's going to just drop a number on the end of it. I already have one somewhere in here. Yeah, there it is. I have one already. But then you just will save. I already have. You hit this button, and then it will show up. Mine's already here. So what we're going to do is get rid of our Edison. Don't really need that too much anymore. Excuse me for the mistake. We're going to get rid of Edison. Bam. Okay. All right. We're going to get rid of this. I don't know why I said it like that anyway. So then we'll drop this in here. All right. So then here we go. As you see, we have... It's really a two bar loop, but it stretches over slightly over th four bars. It's not exactly four bars, it goes over three and some change. If it was four bars, it would stop at five. So we got we got one bar, two bar, three bar, a little bit a little bit of four bar. Not quite four, almost a little bit over three. Whatever, you understand. So here we go. We're going to have to go in here. And play with time stretching. Let me move this out the way so you can see exactly what time stretching is. Time stretching is just a matter of condensing or expanding um, the time in which original sound is played. Um, you'll have the same amount of um, sound there. It won't be no choppiness. It'll just change the length. So we wanted to be in. It's a two bar loop. We wanted to end at two bars. So we'll get it right on point. Just get it, get the knob, play with it, bam. Here we go, it ends at two bars, put it on playlist. All right, it loops exactly, but then, if you notice, it's not, it's, it's not tempo dependent anymore. It's gonna be two bars no matter what tempo you play it at. Still on beat, you hit a click. So that's the nature of the beast right there. And my thing is acting funky. So I'm just going to right click from here. So. And that's a shortcut way to do it, man. Use the playlist to your advantage. It's there for that, for these type of reasons. You want to get your sample, make sure you trim the fat, drop it on the playlist. 
get in here, mess with time stretching. There are other functions you could use with time stretching, but I would not be able to do that in one video. But just leave it at resample and mess with the time and um, adjust it to how many bars you want it to be. Two bar, four bar, eight bar. You want it to be multiples of two so that it, um, two, four, eight, 16, 32. You want to keep doubling, you know, keep you use multiples of two by two. It sounds weird, but that's the formula. But um, so now that we have that um, set up, we can bounce from any tempo we want, like I said, and it'll pitch on its own. But <clears throat> that's the essence of time stretching. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to do another one. I'll drop in a new channel, and I'm going to show you about um, pitching. We're going to sign in a free track. And we're going to do some pitching, 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 pitching. Get Pitch Wheel 64. I'm a strong advocate for it. It costs a little bit of change, but it's the value is a lot less. The value of it supersedes the cost you pay. So uh, it's very valuable. It's a, it's a great tool to use. And you're only as good as the tool you use, which is any man who works with their hands would say. And we do work with our hands. We're musicians. So get great tools. Pitch Wheel 64 is made by a company called Quick quack that's q u i k q q u a c k again q u i k q u i c k quick quack pitch wheel 64 so now uh we want to mute this for the sake of time i'm gonna do it like this yeah open a new channel take this to five where my pitch wheel is and we're going to drop this on a playlist. So we're working with this one. Um, and this is all about pitching. And you can, with pitching, with, time, with, with pitch shifting or however you want to put it, you can change the tone of a sound <clears throat> to mix with your current project that's already in a certain key. Or we just have a particular key in mind for a sample, um, a root key, and um, <clears throat> but you don't want to uh, affect the speed of it. So we're working at 130. Why aren't we getting any any action out of it? It's kind of making me mad. Come on, playlist. Did I picked the wrong one again. Did I pick dash two? Oh, exactly. I never did any work with dash two. So we're going to grab dash two. You know, I was wondering why I was perfectly fitted already. All right, anyway, let's get rid of these. I'm not working with those. It's just a duplicate of what I already have. All right, so we're working with this one. Um, so pitching is about. Let's go ahead and uh, get a uh, get a setup. No, we're not. Let's show you what pitching does first. So pitching, here we go. Turn that off. So basically, pitching is a matter of taking the sound. Um, you already got the, the length that you want, and uh, you just find the key that you want. So it doesn't pitching shouldn't change. If you when you put it in the sampler, when you put something in the sampler and you hit it and you go from key to key. Matter of fact, let me give you an example. Um, it could be a drum. Fuck it. Nah, FX. It's pretty loud. 
All right. FL already FL as a sampler already has pitching in it. Like if you were to drop a sound in here, and I know this is really really basic, but it's important that I go over it. Um, it has pitching within it as a sampler, but it changes. It automatically changes the length of the sample. So you go. Hold on. Okay, that's one of the lower keys, and then it. The, the higher keys is going to be a lot shorter. So it, 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 it time stretches and pitches on its own. But we don't want to do that. We want one or the other. And that's what this, that's the beauty of Pitch Wheel 64. It, it allows you to manipulate a sample at its current length, well, not adjust length, while pitching it. So. <laughs> So just like that, man, just like that. <clears throat> now we're going to combine the two um, functions that we notice. Also notice that this is a 90 BPM. I had already pitched it to 130. I mean, time stretch it to 130. So we're going to get rid of this because I'm not working with that anymore. We're going to combine both techniques of pitching and time stretching. Um, so we're going to go here. Hope I'm doing. I'm not doing this too fast. I'm in. A, I'm in. A, um, in a rush for time at this current moment. I do apologize, but it's going to be like that for a good little while. But at any rate, here we go. We're going to come back here. Let's say. Let's say we wanted to be one sixty. Notice that it doesn't change the length. It doesn't change the length at all it's going to automatically adjust to the tempo of the project now that we went in here not in here I'm sorry now that we went in here and we adjusted the time we adjusted our time of our sample in a matter of bars it's going to always be two bars the pitch is going to change but it'll always be two bars keep that in mind the pitch will change but it'll always be two bars when I change the tempo once again I'm going to show you Okay, let's say we want to work at 100, but we don't like the pitch that we're already assigned to. We can go in here. See, we're still at 100. We're still at 100. We've got um, a 90 BPM sample. This is how it was crafted. It was crafted at 90. It was made to be 90 BPM. We made it adjust to 100 BPM, and now we're adjusting the pitch to suit our project. It's really easy. So okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. How much where am I at with time on this one? I wanted to make it real quick. Oh, we're at 15 almost. Um, not gonna be able to do that. I really don't like to do long videos anymore. But um, keeping in mind that <clears throat> you grab a sample, you get your sample, you trim the fat, trim the fat. Once you trim the fat, you drop it on the playlist. You drop it on the playlist. Then, um. You adjust the length of bars that it's going to be. Like in this case, I made it four. Any speed that that sounds that makes sense. Okay, you know, I use common sense when it comes to um, adjusting the length in terms of bars. So this is going to be two bars. Then um, once you do that. You will find the speed in which you want to work at. Find the speed you want to work at. Bam. Find the speed you want to work at. You know, give it its own track. Then you want to grab the pitch wheel 64 if you're not satisfied with the pitch that the system gives you through this process. See?
all right and that's pretty much it man um, another tip to use um, just outside of um, pitching and time stretching and I hope this video gives you the understanding as far as the, the exact subject matter that I was addressing for Shaq 504 um, or is it 304 whatever Shaq I hope I answered your question but um, outside of that um, start opening your mixes up by going to your master track and go to you know I like to stay around in the, in the 30s and now open your track up you know basically play with your step stereo separation um, to give you better mixes it gives you more room um, really can't explain why but just do yourself a favor open your master track stereo separation up so when you pan you can really hear the difference so that's about it bros and brosettes this is your boy um, all about the biz I hope this tutorial was quick and to the point addresses the questions of pitching and time stretching they're they're cousins but they're not real but they're not brothers you know what I mean they work together but they're not real they're not the same they're not they're, they're very different um, uh, so use them effectively um, and you should be all right and keep your metronome on keep your metronome on until you find exactly what you want when sampling um, and that's about it man holla at me